Let's look at how we can apply a certificate to a VPN server on a Windows server. And it's going to allow that server to become an SSL VPN server. So assuming you already have the certificate installed, you're going to go to Server Manager, Tools, and then go to Routing and Remote Access. And once you're there, you simply right-click on the server, go to Properties, and then click on Security. Now the certificate says default. So what we want to do is click the drop down and choose the name of the certificate that you've installed. Now you can ignore my certificate name. Yours is going to be completely different. And you can click on view just to make sure that it's going to have a valid uh, date and it's got the right issued by information. You click apply and it's going to say, hey, you're going to have to restart this. That's fine. Not the entire server. It's just going to restart routing and remote access. And that usually takes about 10 to 20 seconds. And you can click OK, and you can start using it. Now, you want to make sure that you have port 443 forwarded on from your firewall directly into this particular server for SSL VPN to work. Now, from the client side, you'll want to go into Network and Sharing Center and click on Set Up a New Network or Connection. Choose the VPN option. Click on Use My Internet VPN. Now this has to be the name that matches your certificate. So in my case, it was dc1.techpub.us. If it doesn't match it exactly, then this isn't going to work. So we'll click on Create. We'll click on Change Adapter Settings. And now we need to go into the VPN connection that we just created and go to Properties. Inside Properties, go to Security and change the type of VPN from Automatic to SSTP, which will give you the SSL VPN for Windows Server. Click OK, and now you can go ahead and you can log into your VPN by double-clicking on it and click Connect.